last time in our Instagram tutorial or Instagram course, we were, whoops, the wrong emulator. We were looking at um, organizing things a little better and getting the fragments ready for the tabs in the home screen. Sorry, I was just getting my emulator running. So we were looking at uh, setting up these fragments at the top here. So we have like our camera fragment right here, our like home fragment right here, and then our messages fragment right here. And these are gonna be what we navigate through the tabs with. So that's what we're going to set up in this video now. And what we're gonna use is, we're gonna use a uh, fragment pager adapter. So if you wanna get to this, you can just go fragment pager adapter and go to the developer website. And same thing with a fragment state pager adapter. And uh, I just wanna, I got these both out here because I want to talk about what each one is for because they're, they're both going to be used. They're just gonna be, I can't get this to, stay in the right spot. They're both going to be used, they're just going to be used for different situations. So let's get this over here. All right, so it doesn't really fit, but whatever. So the fragment pager adapter is what we're going to use for tabs. And the reason we use it for tabs is it's a little faster. So it's better for if you have only a small number of fragments. So if you read this description right here, it tells you that. It keeps them in memory and so they can be accessed more quickly. So it's basically good for like if you're gonna use one to five fragments, anywhere in that range. So that's why you use it for tabs. But if you were to use like a whole bunch of fragments, like, you know, say you had a hundred fragments, like, I don't know, suppose you had a whole bunch of buttons down here and a bunch of other fragments that you wanted to navigate to, you would use a fragments fragment state pager adapter. And this is just gonna be better for if you um, have a bunch of fragments because then they get destroyed, they don't get stored in memory because these will get stored in memory. So if you had a hundred of them, they, it will actually it will actually slow down your app like a lot. So you're probably like, I don't even know what you're gonna use that for. So I'm gonna show you in just a second here. We, we use it to um, set up the adapter that adapts the tabs to the fragments. So I'll show you what I mean here. So we're gonna go into home and we're gonna create, we're gonna call it sections pager adapter. And the reason I call it sections pager adapter is if because we look in, uh, let's see, activity, nope, the middle one, center, center layout view pager. This is what is actually gonna be swapping out the tabs, this view pager widget. So that's why I called it pager. I said sections pager adapter because it's a, it's a, it's a view pager. It's gonna be swapping out fragments. So just kind of uh, naming convention there. And so now we're gonna state, and now this is where we're gonna extend that fragment state pager adapter. So fragment state, no, sorry, not state, fragment uh, pager adapter. So just this one right here. Fragment state pager adapter was for the uh, long list of fragments. So let's get our log in there. And we're gonna use alt insert and just insert the default constructor. And we're just going to use the super and now we just need to uh, use a couple methods here. So I think there's probably a list of methods that you require. So if you scroll down, it should tell you exactly which ones you, subclasses only need to implement get item and get count to be working. So you can see that this is red right here and that's what it's telling me. It's saying, hey, you need to implement these methods and it just does it says on the developer website. I'm clicking here, there's the red light bulb. So now I can click on implement methods and you can see there, right there, I could click okay and just implement those two methods. And now you can see the red goes away so you could actually use it now. But we haven't written anything useful in here yet so we need to add a couple things. The way we're gonna store the fragments is we're gonna use a list. So I'm gonna go private, final uh, list and it's gonna store a fragment. Make sure that you grab the one that's the support v4 library. That's the one that I'm using. And then import the list library, and we're going to call it m fragment list. And it's going to be new array list. And this is what's going to hold our fragments, so that we can swap through them with the tabs. So inside of get item, we're not going to return null. We need to actually return the fragment that we're interested in. So we can go m fragment list dot get, and then just pass position, and then get count is going to be uh, m fragment list dot size. And now we're almost done. We have our list. We have the ability to get an item from the list. We have the ability to look at the count, although this doesn't really matter. We just put it here because we're required to. Now we just need a method to actually add the fragments to the list because you can see this is private. So this, this list isn't gonna be accessible from any other classes. So we need to actually write a method, a public method to add the fragments to the list. So we can go public 
void add uh, add fragment, and of course it's going to be a fragment, and then we just do m fragment list dot add and add the fragment, and that should be it. So this is all we need to do for the sections pager adapter. Um, I could write some notes up here, I guess class for adding no for storing fragments for tabs. I guess no class that stores fragments for tabs. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. So we can actually close that and I'll go to back to home activity. And this is where we're going to actually implement our tabs. And just like the uh, bottom navigation view, I just want to keep everything organized in case I maybe want to add tabs to anything else in the future. Um, I, pro I don't think I'm going to because I know what the app's going to look like, but it's just good uh, practice to kind of organize everything in a way that you could reuse the code. So what I'll do is create a method. It'll be void. Uh, it'll be setup. Let's go setup view pager. And it's going to take a view pager, view pager. And inside of this method, we're going to create our sections pager adapter object. I'm just going to call it adapter, new sections pager adapter. And uh, we needed to pass it something. What was it? Uh, right, the fragment manager. Get so we just do get support fragment manager, and pass that in there. I just uh, hit. If you're wondering how I did that, I'm just pressing the control key and hovering over the object. And you can see that it goes public sections pager adapter, and then inside the brackets it says fragment manager fm. So in this context, in order to get the fragment manager, I can just do get support fragment manager. So that's how you do that. And now we need to actually add the fragments to our sections pager adapter. Because remember we have we have a list of fragments and we have a method to add them to the list and that's what we need to do. So we're just going to go adapter dot add fragment. We're calling the add fragment method that we created right here because it's public. And then we um, just add our fragments. So we'll go new the first one will be camera fragment since if we if we look at the app itself, the camera fragment is this one right here. The second one is this home screen, so the home fragment, and the third one is the messages. And you need to add them in that order. So adapter dot add fragment and then new home fragment. It's good. And then adapter oh adapter dot add fragment new uh, messages fragment. Okay. And then we just need to declare our view pager object. So we can go view pager, view pager. Oh, it's uh, we already have it there. What I was originally going to do was create the view pager object in on create and then pass it to set up view pager, but we could just not pass it anything and then just declare it in here and go no equals sorry view pager and then find view by ID r dot ID dot is container and that was our container from uh, the center view pager layout so this container right here. So that's actually fine. I can't think of a reason why I shouldn't do that. So we'll do that for now and I can adjust things later if uh, we run into problems. Then we just need to go view pager and set the adapter and pass our adapter. And that should be good. So now we can just call this method in on create and it'll set up our tabs. So that should, that's, that's, uh, that's very simple. We have nice, clean, concise code right now. I can uh, write some notes up here saying uh, responsible for uh, adding the three tabs, camera, home, and messages. Now we just need to actually connect it to our tab layout. So we can go tab layout, tab layout equals tab, oh, that was weird, uh, tab layout, find your ID, r.id dot, I believe I named it tabs. And that is not happy. Oh, I put table layout. Whoops, tab layout. There. And then we just do tab layout dot setup with view pager and then pass our view pager. So we just go view pager. Pretty simple. Now, everything to do with the tabs is completely contained in this little method right here. So let's, uh, let's run it and take a look at it. Oh, looks like we have a crash. Let's take a look at the log. We'll go to Android. We're just going to go down here, click on Android monitor and open this up. Um, which one is it? it? Should be this guy right here. That's not a meaningful. Or was it this one? No, it should be this one right here. There we go. Okay, so did 
this is the wrong widget, I think. Uh, so go to layout top tabs. Oh, I have a toolbar and it's supposed to be a tab layout. There we go. Yeah, I said the wrong widget there. Sorry about that. Let's rerun it. Okay, there we go. So we have our camera fragment right there. Click on the middle, get home fragment, and then go over to the side, we get messages fragment. So uh, we have no writing and we have no icons up there. So that's the last thing we need to do. So let's go to uh, home activity and we'll go down into our setup view pager method here. And it's really easy to set icons to tabs. We just go get tab at uh, index zero and then set icon and we set our icon. So we go r dot drawable dot, um, the first one was camera. And so this, this index right here is gonna match the same order that we added them in up here. So the camera one is zero, this one is one, and then this one is two. So index zero. Index one, index two. And yeah, so then we just do the same thing. Tab layout, get tab at one, set icon r, oops, r dot drawable dot I see uh, home, I think it was. No, I see home. Uh, Instagram. What was it called? Well, I called it action name. Let's refactor that. Uh, you can't. Uh, okay, fine. I'll just leave it as action name. I see action name. Oh, whoops. Set icon. And now the last one. So tab layout, get tab at two, set icon, r dot drawable dot. This one was arrow. Okay, there we go. Pretty easy. Let's rerun that. Cool, so now we have our icons showing up at the top here and we have them actually navigating to the various fragments. So that's gonna be it for this one. In the next one, we will go over to our profile and we're gonna start actually building the, um, the XML file for this profile. So I'll see you guys in that next video.